And we're back with another great episode of Poker Time. All big promises. Yep. This one's going to have flashy plays, incredible folds, insane raises, fireworks galore. Is that true? I have no idea. Okay, good. It could. It's possible. I guess it's like Schrodinger's poker game right now. So all those things exist as possibilities, you know, in superposition. I guess if you consider time a different form of a box i can work with that metaphor great yeah i feel great that you said that hey it's king nine suited versus a seven suited versus a ten suited and wheel's gonna do another tiny three bet we saw him do this on the last episode with king queen and then call it off that was sam shoved under the gun with ace king for 70 bigs i why why the three bets so small just shove wheel. I mean, like based on his stack, he might as well just shove if he's going to three bet. It's a really strange decision here. What happens when you miss? I guess you're going to shove anyway, but you have to dodge so much more stuff. Well, at least they're sharing diamonds. That is true. It does work for a lot. Wheel does have the best hand. That's nice. Not anymore. Well, he did flop a gutter, and he probably just has to go with it now, right? Guess what? It's that time. Wheel checks. Interesting. Sam does the weird thumbs down, let he, them eat cake check. He was doing that last time. Yep. Too. Todd checks as well, and that's not going to be good enough. Think I got excited a, for a second. Do you think it's like a, an homage to Marie Antoinette? I hope it is. Yeah. Wheel checks again. Sam has the gutter now. Todd with top pair. Gut shot. It's just time to bet. There it is. Very bucks. small bet. $30 oh. into 260 Wheel does have to call and does have some outs. Any jack, any 10, any ace. Nope. Cool shot, though. You love the split screen. I mean, I do. I love the timing of that one, too. Wheel checks again, and Todd is going to just check it back. Where was the value? It wasn't there. I don't know if he was going to get any value anyway. Got to try. Yeah, you should try. One, you got, Wheel's got 140 back. But there's 320 in the pot. You got to try. It was a bit odd. Wheel has a lot of queens there. Well, some queens. Anyway, I'm just surprised. It was a surprising hand all around. It was very strange on all levels. Now, Wheel is crazy short. Yep. And, and I guess he's deciding not to top up. Yep. He's going to try and run it up, much like Sam basically Spin has. Spin it up, the kids say. Yeah. They also say pile. Pile, bro. So I piled. You know, so he, he raised me, so I just piled. So I piled. I piled. Trap scoop. It's rough. Yeah. Poker lingo is just as bad as all the other lingo, <laughs> basically. It's a nice little hand for Stuart. Last time he had a jacks, he got uh, he got four bet and he folded against Wheels Ace King. Yeah, I wonder if you would have changed that strategy having seen Wheel play a bit more this session. Wheel seems a bit erratic this session. He does. He's not always that way, to be clear. Yeah. After seeing Wheel call off with King Queen in that hand against Sam, I yeah. imagine Stuart wishes he could have had those jacks back. Open well, ender for Todd. Got a little bit to dodge here as Stuart, and it's not really a, a very fancy looking flop for Jax there. However, if a 10 comes, Todd makes the bad end of the straight, and Stuart makes the good end. So there's that. That is nice. Todd does call. You could actually just fold that. Yes, hand. you could. I think it's probably a fold. For me, anyway, I should say. Well, nobody likes that card. Yeah, I think Stuart especially fears that card. Yep. But he's not going to fold if Todd bets. Todd should be betting, I think. With six high? On yeah. this board with six high, yeah. I don't think Stuart will fold, but he will not like it. Now, Todd's doing another really small bet, so that makes it a little more comfortable. Todd also decides to bet all the, the red chips, the $5 chips. When he had uh, the top pair against Will, he bet 30, and he bet one 125 chip and a red chip. I wonder if there's a weakness versus strength thing going on with that. That is for some players. Hmm. You, know, you, you get rid of all the baby chips. Another heart, which is really going to be more impactful than the king. Yep. If Todd decides to bluff, it might get through if he sizes it enough. I think Todd should try and bluff. Not only does he have a terrible hand, but he has a heart in his hand, which makes it even better to bluff. Don't give up here, Todd. Bet big, like you made like you made the flush, or like you had a full house or something. Bet $230. I don't know if it's tough for Stuart. It's a really, really tough card for Stuart. 
Door doesn't even have any hearts. Yeah. Yeah. And Seattle Cardinals. Well, Todd is not just tap the table, and he's really thinking about it. All right. Good job. Good job. They've been loving on some late season celebrations. Fire away. This is awkward. What's Stuart have here? I mean. Yeah. All right. Don't bet. Don't bet like fifty bucks. Yeah, you gotta go big enough. Okay, looks like two hundred. Three hundred. I think it's three hundred. Two twenty-five. Okay. okay, that's that's good enough. That's fine. This is a terrible spot for Stuart, and probably usually a fold. I think it's probably a fold. It looks like you're up against some full houses, some trip nines, some hearts. What can you beat except a straight draw? Nice job, Todd. All right, I like the sizing. Me too. Two thirds of the pot. He really oh, wants to show he it. Oh, he does and he's show gonna it. Gonna show it. That hurts. Boy, Stuart's been having a bit of a rough <laughs> session as far as you know. Value betting when he has a very good hand and ends up losing and being shocked. The entire deliberation was whether or not I was going to say, and here's a $10 free roll to show me a bluff. And I decided against that somehow. Oh, say 10 bucks? Yeah. How'd you know? I would never show you a bluff for $10. I'll do it for free. Yeah. <laughs> we have but nine. Just sir. Yeah, just just to be clear, I show a lot of hands, so I don't just show my books. So. I understand. Good news, Todd. On the red stack. Yep. Oh, and this was. Oh, yeah. Stuart did at least save ten dollars, I guess. Yeah. Todd's turn with the uh, two black jacks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, Stuart. Stuart's not having one of the worst financial sessions we've ever had on Poker Time. Not, no. even, not even close. No, he's doing okay. But I think. he's having one of the most shit on sessions. In poker time, he's it's just getting shit on over and over again. Yeah, like he's had spots where it felt like he could have made a lot more money. Spots where he was sure he was good when he value bet the river and yeah. got called. Turn his over confidently was just totally beat. Hands like that, we just saw. Well, this could be trouble for Wheel. I mean, not real trouble. He only has a hundred dollars, so who cares? Yeah, he's just gonna have to lose it all here. I think. I mean, he does have a few outs. He's he just have the diamond. Call. Strange, but okay. Yeah, I don't know why he wouldn't just put it in there. Just pile. Look, he picks up the diamond draw. Sick. Time to pile, bro. There's the all in. Trap scoop. Wheel, I don't know what you're doing. Obviously, you're putting the money in. You've got $60 left. There's no reason to waste people's time. Spin it up. Wheel. Does he maybe have more than $60 and we can't see? Is it possible? Oh, it might be a little more. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like there may be some black chips on top. That makes there. more sense then. <laughs> the whole thing makes more time. sense. He's going to call, and we we can't really tell how much it is, but it looks like it's more than 60. Well, he's got 31%. Could be worse. Oh, you guys, I've lost every time. What do I need? A diamond? A diamond? A diamond? A diamond? You're pretty much ahead. Not going to do it. So we all lost some inde undetermined amount of money, but it wasn't a lot. No, no. It was it was certainly a hand he was going to have to call with. Maybe it was like $160. It looks like Wheels calling it quits on the session here, maybe. <laughs> I've never heard that. It does seem like that's what's happening. You know, I think it's possible that Pocket Forest hand just really, uh, he made that one call and yeah. it just sort of got him on the wrong lane. You know, he's driving in the wrong the wrong lane and just couldn't get back, back to the right side of the street. Yeah, you know how that is when you're driving and you're like, I don't, I don't remember how to switch <laughs> lanes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not to tell a story too much, but I remember the first time I went to England with um, a whole group of people to, to do a seminar. We, all Americans, we rented a car. It was like midnight and we were driving on the highway. We we're driving for a while. <laughs> and I sort of looked around. I was like, are we going the right way? Is this the wrong direction? And they all sort of looked like we're all, we were, we were, we were driving the wrong way oh on the highway, God. like 60 miles an hour for a while. That is very dangerous. Yeah. There were no cars around, but like we stopped and turned around and it was fine. But yeah, I still remember that. That was weird. Who's the better quarterback in that game? Yeah, really bad. Anyway, I didn't die. Feels great. You made it. Made it through that one. All right. So Stewie Younger with the seven. Yeah, I mean, he did just destroy the hell out of Clemson. Yeah, Clemson was... Mustache is going to fire at this. Not really his board, but firing anyway. He also looked like... Because he could have the overpairs. 
Let's see if he follows up on brick turns. There's a brick turn. Goose is known as a brick turn, yeah. It's about as bricky as it gets. Looks like he is going to continue in. It's a tough spot for Stu. Is, is Stuart going to make another <laughs> pull over? <laughs> oh, man, I can feel it coming. You are beating some straight draws. And some thing, some hands that just turn into clubs. Stuart does not have a club in his hand, which may encourage him to stick around. <laughs> but Looks like a fold is about to happen. Yep. There it goes. Ooh, and the fun continues for Show Stuart. the bluff. Oh, if he shows it, it's just perfect. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Mustache hasn't been showing too much. Dude, does he come with Blossom? Because, man, you know? Oh, it's bomb. I was going to strat it. Man, oh, man. Stuart is going to struggle when he watches this whole session. You know? I mean, it's just like, the good thing is that it happened. When it when it happened, he knew about most of the things anyway. That's true. That's not, true. Not too many new revelations. I mean, yeah, and that was a small pot. It's yeah. not like that was a big deal. You're right. All right, here's an Omaha bomb pot, because what the hell? Let's go. We love those things. Teddy Bridgewater and some, you know, other stuff. Bridgewater costs you a lot of money already anyway. Twenty-two million, maybe, something like that. Stewie's got kings. Let's watch him flop the second best hand. Six, seven, five, rainbow. Well, he did not flop the second best hand because he made the nuts with the other two cards. That's a good thing to do. Digital Dan with a pair and a backdoor flush draw and a straight draw. Sam has top pair and a straight draw and a backdoor flush draw as well. Yeah. You guys are on the give up, Cam? I mean, for a one, a two, and a... Good spot for Stewart. How about for a zero? Would you yeah, give up Cam for a zero? No, I do it for a zero. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I definitely do it for a zero. So, mustache raised to 20 after Stuart bet 10. Okay. All right. I guess we're playing a different type of game. Mustache with top two. And there's looks like the re-raise. I think mustache with top two and the four probably just has to call here. Yeah. There's the king. Stuart now has a set. So wow. board pairs are now covered by Stuart. He's got it all locked up. Yep. They're like, we're, get, we're getting great value. Everybody else has had to give up a first rounder for this guy. <laughs> a six or a seven would be disastrous for Mustache. Indeed. A three wouldn't be great either. But a six or a seven would be the end of times. <laughs> that sounds a bit dramatic. <laughs> Now, Stuart did just three bet this. Yeah, you could fold this. As I think mustache. so. I th you probably should. Yeah, Stuart, like, yeah. He just has the nuts way too often here once he three bets the flop. Button straddle, back to hold him. Please tell me you have the nuts there. I did. You did? you enjoyed the ad i really I hope you did and honestly if you didn't board don't board tell me because so it will hurt me emotionally yeah grant is <laughs> fragile <laughs> these days the fragility is on a, on a hundred yeah you saw les miserables and you watched everybody Anne Hathaway saw sing, les miserables and it really changed you you're different now and you're i just didn't understand that such a depth of emotion could exist yeah I understand that, too. I get you, man. And now every flower I see reminds me of the beauty of existence itself. You know what I'm saying? Now, of course I do. Yeah, I mean, everyone knows what you're saying. Todd's going to raise it up. <laughs> 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 because he decided to. Put 10-6 off. That's a lot of the Todd plays that we've seen this session. Is like, Todd decided to raise. It 
is not a combinatorial thing. <laughs> he also he made it forty five. Sam straddled the button. Yeah, it's a strange play. Dan had already completed for twenty in the big blind. It's a strange play. Well, there's the nuts for Dan with the redraw. That's a pretty damn good flop for Digital Dan. And Todd, by the way, has an open ender, so could get a little action here. Yeah. Seven would be a disaster, of course. We're looking at Sam, but he's long folded. And will Dan raise right now? This is a wet board. You could you could definitely raise. I think raise. he should. And he Todd does. snap calls. That's great news for Dan. Yep. Time to put in. Look to put in a chunky bet on the yeah, turn. Well, Todd makes a pair. It's four deuce. He's not gonna love it, obviously. No, but you know, now you're beating the draws. There are hearts and yeah, other tens potentially that Dan could have here. That is a good card for Todd. He, he does calls right away. Quickly call. Another six would be bad. King is a good card for him though. Isn't yeah, it's that? pretty easy to get away from it now if you're Todd. Yeah. King X of Hearts is now beating you as well. King 10 is now beating you. Dan got to have the nuts the whole time. That's pretty good. Yeah. This would be an ambitious call were Todd to try and make it here. Yeah, I don't think it's happening. He lets it go. Dan shows just how good it is to be digital. Digital. <laughs> digital. I mean, maybe not for him. Dan wants to digitize... His music collection, but has not figured out how to. No, yet. you can't do it. Yeah, it's, okay. so he just keeps listening to the, <laughs> Maybe. the Maybe. eight tracks and the cassettes yeah. and stuff. He has to fast forward and rewind to find the tracks that he wants. Yeah, but he likes it. Yeah. But he wish he could not have to do it. Yeah. Because he'd rather have it be digital. Yeah. But he doesn't know how to do that. He does not do that. He needs tech support, fan, but he's afraid to make phone calls. Give up even if yeah. Did you give up like your first three rounds? It makes sense if you think about it. It actually makes a lot of sense because... We used to talk about why they call him Digital Dan. Well, sure. another aspect of being Digital Dan that really sucks is that, unlike other people, he can actually get COVID from phone calls. That is a <laughs> such a weird thing to say. Yeah, if the person on the other line has COVID, Dan can get it. Because he's Digital Dan. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Wonka's raising with the Ace-10. <laughs> <laughs> There's no show like this. Is Todd gonna, Todd is going to call out of position with the 7-4 off. Just because. Todd does a lot of just because stuff pre-flop. Yeah. I mean, he put in 20. It was only 55 more, but wow. There's the 10. Yeah, where is That's what I'm wondering. I check. Todd with nothing going on here. Wonka checks it back, understandably. Could have bet, though. And now, suddenly, Todd turns a double gutter. Things got a little spicy. Just like that. Nine or a five will do it. Todd checks again. I think this is a good time to look for a check raise. But instead, Ooh, he folds. He must not have realized yeah. he had a double gutter. He must not have known. Because, wow. That would, it could have been a reasonable bet and certainly a reasonable check raise. Now, though. a nine would have not been a very good straight for Todd because a jack would have made a higher straight. Yeah, which is why I think I like a raise better or yeah. a lead better than a just check call. Also, tough to get action with all those cards so close together. Yeah. Never $500. In, in 2017, I think. In 2017. Oh, so. okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I you were just saying, like, Boy, Wolf looks like the Grim Reaper from this angle. He's got Wolf has no been face. He's very buttoned down the whole time. He looks like the Invisible Man. <laughs> he's got hands, though. Well, he's pretending he's wearing gloves. Now he's the Invisible Man again. Okay. White gloves. Even there, sort of. Almost. Sam's going to bump it up. So it seems like the interns think we had a, uh, a straw on the bottom, but we did not. There we go. Wolf limping the 6-3 off and Sam punishing. And the repunish with a real hand. Yep. Which is inevitably going to lose to a slightly better hand. Okay, one more bad. Fold. Or more likely just fold out all of his opponents. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see any uh, action here for Stewie Younger. Small pot win for Stewart. That's been about as good as it gets for him. He'll take it, you know? Sometimes you have to just take it. I got, I got that. What is this, Todd? Darko. All right. 
<laughs> I like it. He's just saving us three <laughs> seconds because he's calling it garbage. Yeah, button straddle. Button straddle. Button straddle. Button straddle. Button straddle. <laughs> saving three seconds. Yep. Oh. He learned it from Young Hugh. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. That's a poor guy. Well, no, he did it who to called, himself. Who called like every Hold. straddle? Hold. Oh, everybody folds. It's gonna be heads up. Damn it. Nope. Back in the action is Stewie Younger with the limp this time. Not a well, play you see from him too often. Todd had already oh, no. completed, I guess. Stuart. But that's a hand that a very clear raise. I think yeah. a lot of the time from Stuart. Usually we're gonna see that. So that yeah. was interesting. Well, top pair. Mustache with a pair as well. Certainly good enough this time. So far. So far. If we stopped after the flop. What would the name of that game be? Flop stop. Yes, it would. Mustache does call. Setting up a chance for Stuart to lose in a weird way once again. The nine is the best card, obviously. Five is a little too yeah. obvious. I was rooting for a nine. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. Check back from Stu. Not a check back. No, he check just checked, check yeah. front. Oh! oh! Zing, zang, zong. Stuart now chopping with all aces, but probably doesn't think he's up against too many of those. Spades come in as well. This he might a, check again here. He'll check in. It'll be a decision. Depends on sizing, I think. Looks like 75. Probably have to call to, for the chop, for the ace chop. Mustache is not going to bet a 10. He might have a hand like king, queen, queen, jack, or king, jack. Those are the hands you can beat. That's it. It's not great. That's what Stuart's thinking about right now is he might not even have those hands, though. Yep. And he might have bet the turn with those hands when we checked to him as Stuart, right? Fold. Like, he had a chance to bluff, and he turned it down. Yeah, I like this fold It's a good Stuart. fold. Really Dis good fold. Well-disciplined fold, considering the session Stuart's been having. Stuart's lucky that was the five of spades. If that was the other five. Yeah, he probably makes the call. Yeah. But, hey, he still made a great fold that a lot of players would not make. Mm -hmm. Hi, Dan. Button straddle. Yeah. Button straddle from Todd. Wonka's going to be first to act. Haven't really seen Wonka do too much. He had that ace 10 early, and that's it. Yeah, he's it. been quiet. He's had a quiet session. Also, hasn't been talking too much. He no. likes to yap, that guy. Maybe he's really hungover. That is possible. I know that guy. <laughs> he might be really hungover. <laughs> but he does love playing poker. That is true. Audience, however much you guys love playing poker, Wonka probably loves it more. He puts in like 80 hours a week in non-pandemic times, it feels yeah. like. Maybe it's not that much, it's but not it feels that much, like that. But he's I, like, come in non-pandemic times, he's like, come to my house for parties. And then it's like <laughs> midnight and he's like, all right, I'm going to go play poker. Yeah. Yeah. After all the hanging out and doing whatever is done, then he's like, now it's time to go play. Yeah. Revenge. It's over if you don't, though. Revenge. Revenge. Next day on Revenge. I've never once attended a party and then went and played poker afterwards. At midnight. Mm. I have done that with him a few times. Yep. It is always fun. <laughs> Queen Jack five. Nothing going on here at all. You two pair. Not as far as straight. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. A different time that someone flopped the straight. Uh, Gut shot now for Todd. I know that. It's a no brainer. Should probably bet if it's checked to him, but he checks. You bet too much. Oops. And there's the winning card. Interesting. Todd never even considers betting either as a bluff or for value. Well, he gets $125 for it. I told you. Yeah. So good for him. But if he had, you know, yeah, maybe there was other things. Nah, just saying. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. It's not against Dan's hand. No. But could have bluffed the turn or the flop. Yeah, but turn especially. Life's too short to bluff your friends. YOLO, man. Yeah. So you can't do it because yeah. YOLO. You yeah, have to play that. Be really careful with your life. Yes, there's the Lonely Island song. You don't know this one? Of course I do. Do you, though? Yeah, we talk about it on the regular, you and me. That song? Yes. Remember Death Machines or Escalators oh, or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> Such a weirdo. You claim to have like a photographic memory. You remember nothing. I don't have a photographic memory. You claim to. No, I don't. Yeah, you have many times. Just better than yours. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> All right. I can't stand this guy. 
<laughs> your small flight. That's your fault on the small flight. <laughs> Hey, Stewie Young with Queens. It's weird. Stewart's had so many good hands, and uh, it's been such a bad, bad overall session for him. Although I don't know, that he's really lost any money. He's probably lost a little, right? It's just that he hasn't gotten as much value at the times when he's supposed to get value and whatever. He's lost some money. He could have lost a lot more, I guess, with that seven three against eight seven hand against mm, Wolf. For sure. Anyway, here he's in pretty good shape. Eighty seven percent. Well, Wolf has. A little bit of hope. A little bit of hope. Back door with the front door gut shot. Overs as well from his point of view. Probably going to have to check call this once. Or check raise, but not fold. Depending on sizing, of course. And you can see he is definitely calling. Yep. Quickly. Could a check raise. I kind of like a check raise better there, I think. But I what think else? So. Hey, that's a very interesting <laughs> card. Yes. You got me. So we're probably going to check this back. You'd expect most of the time, but you could really bet. You, you could. could get value from an eight and charge spades. Yep. And nine, ten. And, and straight like draws. That. Exactly. I like, actually, I think I like a bet, but of course I understand why, why there'd be a check here too. You got to really pick your customer. Well, if you decide to bet Stuart looks like he is going to do it. I do like this it. play. Yeah. And look how fast we get the call, because of course. By the way, another great opportunity to check raise right there. Yes, that would have might have just won. The that would have been a very fun spot to watch. And well, now this is interesting. I think it'll probably just go check check. But yeah. if Stewie goes for thin value, it'll be interesting to see what Wolf does. Now that all the draws have officially missed, you're trying to get value out of an eight or maybe nine ten, and he yeah, just, just checks, checks it, back. it back. Makes sense. That was a, a kind of interesting hand. Yeah, good way to end it. Stuart gets a win. We'll see you guys next week for some more Poker Time. Poker Time.